on this episode. The biggest challenge about Olympus Rally is everything. It, it's straight grease. I mean, there's 40% chance of rain today. 40% evidently means we, 100. We, we got all of it. 75. On the rallycross side, Subaru's never been in a better position than they are now. This is going to be my rally to win one if there's any. Um, <laughs> two like drive. Oh, this is Launch Control. Two events are complete in the ARA Championship. Two victories for Travis Pastrana and the Subaru team. They couldn't ask for a better start to the season. This is a really exciting moment for the sport of rally in general because it is important for any sport not just to have quality drivers, but also quality drivers who bring attention to the sport. You know, this is so good to get one of these here because this guy over here usually takes all these, but but this time he's got a second place because I got four second places and four DNS. Congratulations, finally did it. Thanks, man. Finally did it. With the pressure from McKenna in the World Rally Car building, the championship dynamic is about to change again. Put us on our back heels again. Thanks, Ken. But uh, are you going to be in more rallies this year? We'll see. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Maybe. A few weeks later, in Washington State, Subaru is testing before the Olympus rally when the news breaks. Ken Block will continue his championship hunt in a Vermont sports car Subaru. It's a, a complicated deal. He's not part of Subaru Motorsports USA. He is part of Vermont Sports Car. So he is an, an identical car to Travis and Brandon. He started with us. It was a Ken and Travis team, 05, 06, 07, 08. That was like the golden years of rallying back then in the US. We got rally in the X Games and Ken and Travis, Kyle McRae. Like those were like the amazing years. Ken remains a privateer as fans rejoice, a critical turn of events in the championship occurs. The defending champion, Barry McKenna, is forced to miss the Olympus rally. The news leaves an open door for Subaru. The chief title rival is out of the picture, so there's a perfect opportunity to really bring it home for Subaru. For Seminuk, the wet weather reinforces his expectations. Olympus is definitely one of the events I'm targeting for the season. Like McKenna didn't end up showing up due to some family issues. It's Pacific Northwest event, it can get slippery, it's technical. I just, I just really like the roads, they just suit my style. Fortunately picked first on the road, not the fastest, but couldn't take the chance of uh, the rain, that 40% not coming. Uh, but I know Olympus, it's, you know, it's gonna be a wet one. Uh, this is always a really tough one for us. This is a great rally for Seminuk. Hell yeah! You just dry all through testing. Let's see how wet it is today. Whoa. Pastrana knows that with the champ sidelined, it's a huge opportunity to strike, but no one is going to give an inch. Okay, this is stage one, Deckerville reverse. Good luck, Skippy. Good luck, buddy. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Crest, we're five, five, and smack, 55. Left six, left two, left two, right two minus, left three. So slow. I'm starting to figure out that Travis just comes into the first stage hot. Like, he targets that first stage every rally, and he just wants to create a gap on all the competitors. Despite the adverse conditions, Pastrana comes out swinging. He takes the opening stage win by one second over Ken Block. Ken Block, he's fast. But when it comes down to driving a tidy line, when it comes down to pinpointing the braking, everything, Seminuk is phenomenal. Like this is gonna be my rally to win one if there's any. We've got some really slippery stages compared to some of the previous Olympus roads. You gotta be pick and choose where you can slide the car and be more aggressive. Two right minus long, don't go wide, hold. And turn, hug. Two left, drive onto bridge. 
Four land plus opens over double crest. 40. Seminuk strikes back, winning the second stage. The stage victory bolsters his confidence and puts the others on notice that he's out for blood. Finish 100. Good job. At service, the three Subaru are within seconds of each other. At least they can see where we hit the brakes, it just slides off, but it's, it's slick as crap. It, it's straight grease. I mean, I was, I chose first on the road, thinking, oh, it's gonna be dusty. I mean, it's 40% chance to rain today, but Olympus, 40% evidently means we, 100. We, we got all of it. Um, it's, it's gonna be a heck of a race, and uh, all of us need this win. I, I would, it's good for me to win. Brandon, this is, this is a rally he came in having a little check mark saying, we want the championship, this is our rally. And uh, I have a little check saying, I'd like to take that from you. So we'll see. Like, like a harder compound tire would have been a little better right at the end of the stage, but that is the tire for these stages. But it's all just like this like super fine, loose film on top and it's, it's slippery everywhere. So yeah, I mean, we had a couple wild moments and I'm sure Travis and Ken did too, but I'm sitting in second behind Travis. There's probably the same gap from me to Travis as there is from me to Ken, so. Everyone's pretty close, but we're, uh, you know, everyone's trying to create a bit of distance from each other. Dude, I thought it couldn't get slicker than the first run and it poured in between. <laughs> it's like snot. It's like, it, dude, it, it's gnarly. So, uh, it'll be, that long stage is gonna be brutal. With another leg of stages to run in the heavy rain, Travis's road position is going to be a challenge. The standing water and grip levels are unknown. Five, and he's four, the guinea pig. Three, two, one, go. Press left five tight, back 55. Left 650 tight, tear two, tight, tear two. Will be right two minus, left three. Seminuk starts second and knows this is an advantage. He can see Travis's breaking points and lines, offering clues to the conditions. I had a really good feeling in the car and, and going into the next set of stages, we just pushed super hard and managed to make up a ton of time on Travis. Like, probably the, some of the biggest gaps, stage wins that I've created against Travis. Um, and then even Ken too, like we were putting double digits on Ken in one stage, so. We were feeling really good in the car and then it's like Wildcat. Like, Wildcat is the stage to make time on someone. The longest stage of the day, getting dark, in the rain, we knew we were gonna have fog, we knew we were gonna have all the worst conditions. We recce that stage in the dry. So we know there's gonna be sections that we hit and we're like, we're on ice, we're going off, and we gotta make the best of the worst. That's a rally stage. All right, big one, John. Let's yeah. Get that good rhythm going. Mega focus. Yeah. I went into that stage saying, we're not going to win the stage. We're probably not going to be able to catch Brandon, but it's so easy to be caught out on this one. So let's just back it down just a little bit. I was like, I'll bet you anything that before car six, someone's off. With a game plan set, Pastrana enters the stage. Let's go 30, half right three, left six. 30, backs right five plus, long, 25, right five short, left four over crest, tightens too long, tightens too long. The pace is very high. Seminuk expects nothing less and attacks. Back with Travis, his reserved pace is still uncomfortably quick. Caution, right four down. Slowing crest, right two bridge. Slowing crest, right two bridge. Keep right. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's where wow. he went up, yep. Keep right, three, seventy. They miss the bridge by an inch and carry on. Seminuk is up at the split and gaining. 70, curve four left plus. Titans don't go wide. Into right, Titans, five okay. Me and John are feeling really good in the car. We're getting through all the technical bits. 
Everything's going smooth. Like I feel like I've got a really good pace going. Hips maybe 30 and two left. Minus Titans one plus 40 on my halfway. And then there's like one tricky kind of downhill section into a bridge. I know I'm gonna make time if I get across this bridge. Like the next part of the stage is gonna be like all me. Long and two left back Titans keep. Five right over 30. Caution, four right over crest, double tight and slippy, two narrows over bridge, and two right drive. Oh, that was bad. Oh, we're done. Sorry, John. Uh, man. I can't believe that. I should start this. Are we off the road? <sighs> yeah, I think so. You know, we're like sitting on the side of the road, just obviously like so bummed, like looking at the split times and like we're, we had the fastest split. We're like, man, like that was going to be our rally. Like Olympus was going to be the start of like a really good season for us. And and then not even to score a single point, it's just it's heartbreaking. Um, yeah, I thought it was going great. And then I knew this was a tricky bit and I, th I thought I slowed up a lot and then uh, just car just stepped out like right before he got on the bridge. It's a place where you can lose the whole rally, but it's also a place you can gain a lot of time. You know, rally is risk versus reward. That's what it is. Like, that's why Travis is so dominant in a rally car. It's like, he's the ultimate like brain of like risk taking. Chris, left six, slowing 50, Chris, right two, slowing 50, Chris, right two, 30. Oh, it's gonna be a tough one. Good job. Left five minus, 35. Half left, four minus down. Half left, four minus down. <laughs> Flying finish soon. Left five and right five sharp, okay. Yep, got it. This is right five sharp, okay. Well done, mate. Oh that was God. tough. Good job. We didn't Holy really moly. Make a big mistake, so. Um, great oh, job. Good job, mate, man. Like, that's just, so hard. That with bridge, this. we gotta, we gotta go back and write the bridge. I just, I didn't drive it like I needed to. But if we were driving ten tenths, we would have gone. That bridge is gonna get somebody. We got lucky. With so much early season action in rally, it's easy to forget the challenge ahead of this team in rallycross. On the rallycross side, Subaru has never been in a better position than they are now, and the manufacturer has been incredibly patient. They've worked hard, they've improved every year, but the titles always evaded them. But now they're in a position where they're expecting to win it and they're expected to win it by us on the outside. In America, Subaru was a dominant team. So we know the Subarus were fast back in 2019. Uh, they were right up at the front of the ARX series. They were on the same pace as the World RX drivers and then COVID happened and everything just went on the back burner. This team's last head-to-head -head competition was in 2019. Since then, world teams have continued to compete, continued to measure themselves against the competition. Subaru quietly tested on its own, waiting for the new Nitro Rallycross Championship to emerge. The teams never stand still. It's just develop, develop, develop the whole time. Little tweaks at the minute because the manufacturers aren't so involved, but that's pretty tough for Subaru because uh, they don't know where they are. The development has been focused on what we knew in the past, really, and items we think we need to get ahead of for Nitro, but we don't quite know until we're, until we're into it. With a full season finally ahead of them, they have a clear target. It's gonna be the perfect reward for that patience, that hard work, because it's been almost a decade of toil and hard work to get to where they are now. And now, now they're at the peak of their power. So Subaru have kind of got this thing where they want to win, you know, they, they kind of need to win. They've got a lot of backing behind them and, and everything looks amazing. They've got the best car, they've got a great driver lineup, but until they win it, they're still going to be the team that nearly did. To get there, they find themselves testing in Minnesota as part of their long-term development program. Now we're really looking forward to Nitro, but Nitro is also going to provide some different challenges. It's more gravel-based. 
uh, more jumps versus what we ran before was more circuit based. With Scott and Travis, the two of them working together, if you look at their skill sets, you could argue that Scott's background is tarmac. But Scott, you know, he, he's a very well-rounded rallycross driver. But the jump side of things, that's Travis's speciality. So I can, uh, I can see maybe Scott working on tactics, but Travis, with, with the jumps and the dirt experience, if the two of them work together, it could be a really formidable partnership. This team has waited nearly two years to continue their quest for a rallycross driver's title. With the season now just a few months away, it's just a matter of time before they measure themselves against the best in the world. Yeah, we're a little disappointed, obviously, starting day two here at Olympus. Uh, Brandon's had to retire. There was some damage to his car last night that uh, we felt was potentially concerning from a safety standpoint. Uh, so basically, we made the decision that uh, they were going to retire for the rest of the event. We'll take the car back to VSC. Uh, we'll repair it, make sure that it's safe and ready to go for uh, Southern Ohio in a, a month or two. And in the meantime, Travis is still in first place. He's got a good battle going with Ken, who's in second. Uh, so we're hoping for uh, Subarus on the first two, two spots of the podium and for Travis to get a third straight victory today. At the end of the day, there's no driver in the world that I want to beat more than Ken Block. Uh, yeah, I've seen their rivalry develop since, what, 07. And um, Travis has that championship consistency, and Ken has that per mile pace. There's the Subaru team with Travis and Brandon, and then there's the Ken team, Hoodigan Racing Division with Ken. So even though it's a thrilling situation for rally as a sport, looking at it from a team perspective, we want to kick Ken's ass. We want to do it every single time we get on the stages. One, three, 100, long rail, 50, backflip, six. 13. Ken, same team, kind of not the same team. Rather see a Subaru win than, than anything else. And we're all working together in the long run to beat McKenna. But it's really the pair of Subaru Motorsports USA versus Ken Block versus the world. That rivalry is what drives racing. It's what drives me, it's what drives competition and pick a side, pick a team, it's gonna be a good battle. Right three, right three, right. And left five, over finish and catch right five, yep, got it. Hey Rhiannon, this is Bill. Just uh, wanted to say congratulations and well done. Three for three, way to go. Three events, three victories. Pastrana and Gelsomino extend their dominance in the points race. Uh, three for three is an awesome start. I mean, with uh, the, the drop rounds, basically first one to, to five wins and a finish, um, you know, gets the championship and we got three of them. So that's, uh, that's a really good start to the season. Having three wins is going to be key for this season because it's not going to get easier from here on out as you know the competition rises and Barry gets more familiar with his car it's going to be an interesting season it's going to it's going to be a really really great and I think it's going to come down to the wire again next time on launch control Air Slayer is the ultimate hill climb car. If you go off, it is literally a life and death situation. That is scary. If you make a mistake, you put a wheel off, you're not gonna hit anything for a while because you're gonna be falling. That's next time on Launch Control.